Hey guys, Swana here and in today's video, I'll show you guys how you can create a drop shipping website with Shop Plaza. Shop Plaza is a Shopify alternative that comes with phenomenal features and it is simple to use. If you are totally beginners, don't worry, I'll walk you through step by step process how you can create this drop shipping website with Shop Plaza. Moreover, in the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create a free drop shipping Android app and then I'll show you how you can publish that app on Google Play Store. So before we look at what kind of website we are going to create in this video, I just want to let you know that if you're totally new to drop shipping business, if you do not know anything about drop shipping, don't forget to check out the description box of this video and learn more about drop shipping business. So now let's take a look at what kind of website that we are going to build in this video. Okay, so this is the website that we are going to create in this video. If you look at the top header section here, you can see we have the announcement section and we have the logo area. You can replace this logo with your own logo and we have the menu area over here. You can add as many items as you want inside this had a menu and if you look at here you can see we have the search icon and we have this profile icon your visitor can log in or they can create an account and this is the beautiful cart icon as you can see and above this you can see we have the social media handles over here you can add as many social media handles on your website if you look at here this is a beautiful uh, display of the category you can add one two three four five six types of categories on your home page of your website and below you can see we have another single product layout over here you can display any specific product into this section over here below you can see we have the banner area here you can display any product that you have on your website with high quality image and below you can see we have the featured collection here you can add any type of collection when someone hover their mouse over any product they can see more images of that product below the images they can see the title of the product and the price of the product okay if you keep scrolling down you will see we have another newsletter section your visitor can subscribe to your newsletter by typing their email okay and we have an another section over here latest news here you can display anything you like you can display your product you can display you know, the blog post whatever you want to do you can display over here okay below you can see uh, we have the customer review section which is very important when someone visit on your website they can read these positive reviews of your website your customer feel like this is the right place to buy anything scroll down you can see we have another section here we have the three column here you can display the images of your product or any kind of stuff you want to display you can display over here and below you can see we have another section of the newsletter if you want to remove this section you can remove it or if you want multiple subscription forms on your website you can add that as well like i did over here okay and this is the photo area where you can display your important pages like about us contact us privacy policy and few other important pages you can display over here and moreover you can add your number your email or your live chat support if you have one next you can see we have the payment gateways that we can accept on our website at the very bottom of this section you can see we have the copyright section now let's open any product and this will be your product page you can expand the description you can see we have the beautiful images of this product nice looking uh, preview you can see over here if you scroll down at the very bottom your visitor can also see the similar product at the very bottom of the same product page now let's try to buy this product first you have to select the variation and now click on add to cart and this is your beautiful cart page your customer can increase or decrease the quantity of this product let's quickly click on checkout so here you can see this is a nice looking checkout page if your customer has a coupon code they can apply over here now let's quickly fill these details and then click on continue to shipping there you go and as you can see your customer has to select the shipping and then click on continue to payment so on this website we have set up paypal your customer can pay this amount via paypal or they can use their debit card or credit card as you can see once they fill the details they can pay and you will receive your first order 
Awesome, right? So without wasting more time, let's get started. And now let me show you guys how you can create drop shipping store with Shop Plaza. All right, guys. Now let's create a drop shipping website with Shop Plaza. First of all, you have to go to the first link in the video description, or you can type in this URL, and you will land on the shopplaza.com. And this is the alternative of Shopify website. So here you have to click on sign up. I'm gonna sign up with Google. Click on this social media icons, and then select your Google account. Now click on create an account. Now here you have to tell a bit about yourself and then click on enter my shop. Okay, so this is the getting started wizard where you have to completely set up your Shop Plaza dropshipping store. We're going to skip this Shop Plaza visit and we will set up our Shop Plaza dropshipping store manually. First of all, let's go to online store. Inside this online store, select theme, scroll down. And you will see the free theme section right here now keep scrolling down go to the next page i'm gonna select this halloween theme click on add click yes add it successfully now scroll up and click on publish alongside this halloween theme and then click on ok so as you can see this theme has been installed successfully you can click over here to view your store so as you can see here, this is a default look of this Shop Plaza dropshipping store. There is a no content over here and we will add a content. We will add a products. Each and everything we'll be doing in this video. So make sure you watch this video till the end and don't skip any single part of this video. If you want a complete dropshipping store with Shop Plaza, let's close this out. Next, let's go to settings, go to store information. And here you can change your store name. I'm gonna type over here candy and your store owner email and your customer service email. I'm gonna type the same email over here and then simply click on save. Right now we are using a default domain over here. You can add your own custom domain if you want. And in here you can add a Fabicon, which is the site icon, just like this one. If you have one, go ahead, click on this plus button and select your Fabicon icon. This is a PNG image. I'm gonna click OK. This is the recommended size of this image. Once you upload, click on save. Now scroll down. So right now your website is password protected just because of you haven't buy any plan of Shop Plaza. However, you can change your password from here. I'm gonna type something like run and then I'm gonna click on save. So our store information has been changed. And here you can see we have the store currency usd which is completely fine time zone i am from india i'm gonna select my time zone kolkata time here you can change your currency format which is completely fine address you have to type your store address really quick select country select the state type your city and your phone number and rest of things are good here once you're happy with your changes then click on save changes so now we have successfully completed the store information. Let's go ahead, click on the products. And here you can see we don't have any product yet. And we will import product from the dropshipper supplier. And I'll show you how you can do that. In order to import product, let's go to apps. So here you can see we have two apps already installed. Let's remove them first because we don't really need them. In order to install a new app, scroll down. Here you can see we have different types of recommended apps that you can install inside your Shop Plaza dropshipping store. We are interested in this CJ dropshipping. This is the one of the best and free dropshipping supplier that you can use for your dropshipping website. Let's click on that. So before you click on add button, let's open a new tab and log in into your cjdropshipping.com. So I'm going to log in into my CJ dropshipping account. Let's type your email and password and log in and click on sign in. I'm going to click on skip. Okay, once you log in, come back to this page and then click on add button and then click on the confirm and then copy this URL. And now click on confirm. So this is not working. No problem. Have your mouse over authorization and then click on shop plaza. You can close the other tab 
Alright, so I'm going to select this option, never remind me again and close this pop-up. And in here, click on add store and type your store address. You can find it over here. When you click on add button and this is the store address. Just copy the whole thing, control C, come back to this page and paste your store address and click on authorize. Now scroll down and click on install app. Alright guys, so as you can see here, authorization success. And now let's close this tab, this one, and come back to your Shop Plaza website and scroll up. And here you can see we don't have any app installed. If you refresh it and you will see that CJ dropshipping app inside the installed app section, which is amazing. So this is how you install CJ dropshipping app. Once you do it, now it's time to import the product. First of all, let's come back to the product section and go to all products. And inside this section, you can see we don't have any product yet. Let's come back to CJ Dropshipping on this website. I'll use mouse over here and go to your product category. In this case, let's go for case for iPhone 7 Plus or maybe iPhone X cases. So on this page, you will see different types of iPhone cases that you can import directly inside your Shop Plaza dropshipping store. So find the product that you like. So I like to import this one. There are a couple different ways to import product. You can add the product into queue or you can directly list the product. First of all, let's quickly click on list. It will open the product page and you will see this pop up inside this. Select your store and select the collection if you have one right now i don't have any collection so i'm going to create a new one by clicking on this add new button and i'm going to type the collection name iphone case click on confirm and below you will see the variation of this product and this is the cj price and this is a shipping fee and the service fee and the total drop shipping cost of the product or you can say this variation cost and this will be your store price if you click on this button recommended listing price it will add the recommended price for your drop shipping store once you're happy with your changes once you do it and don't forget to select your collection from here click on list it now list it successfully close this out and you can close this one as well and let's add few more products let's add this one this time I'm going to click on add to queue. Let's add this one as well. Once you do it, go to your queues and in here you can see we have this checkbox. By selecting this, you can select multiple products. You can edit them in a bulk by checking this box. But this bulk option is only available for selected e-commerce platform. For Shop Plaza, this feature is not available at the moment. If this will be available for Shop Plaza, I'll update you. So for right now, I'm going to uncheck this one and click on list now button and you will see another pop up and here select your store, which is already selected and next select the collection. Right now, I'm going to select the iPhone case and make sure all the variation is selected and then click on recommended listing and finally click on list it now. List it successfully. Let's quickly close this out and let's go back to your queue and here click on list now and this time we are not going to list this product directly we have this pop-up again select your store select the collection iphone case this time i don't click on the list now button instead of clicking on it i'm going to click on add it before listing by doing this i can change the product title remember this if you have a longer title shorten it that will be seo friendly okay and next, select the collection iPhone case and you can add a tag. I'm going to type something like iPhone case, press enter. And you can always go to the description, images, variation, variants, so on and so forth. Here you can see we have the description. You can always come over here and tweak some text, images. If you don't like these images, you can delete them or you can add more images if you want. And go to images section and here you can see this is the product images or you can see the gallery images of this particular product 
variant inside the variant you will see all the variants listed here if you check this box and then click on recommended listing price it will add the recommended price for this product for your drop shipping store and finally we have the shipping you can see all the shipping available for you you can select different types of shipping if you want once you're happy with your changes click on list it now <clears throat> list it successfully let's close this out you can close this one as well there you go let's come back to your shop plaza so here you can see we got this message you have added a product let's refresh the page because we are inside the product all products section let's refresh it so you can see here we got the three products directly from cj drop shipping and now let's view the product click on the click on the view on online store and there you go you can see we got this nice uh iphone case for iphone 7 iphone pro max xs xr x 12 pro max and if you scroll down you can see we have the description your customer can expand the description if they want if you still want to change the title or description you can do that as well let's close this and here you can see we have the edit section it will open the editing section of this product you can always come here and you can change the title subtitle and the description if you want you can add images if you want and here you can see we have the collections you added this iphone case inside the iphone cases collection and we have so on and so forth this is a published product let's go back so this is how you can change things inside your product let's go to the collections and right now we have only one collection you can rebook this one once you completely design your website. So you can keep adding products inside your shopplaza.com from your cjdropshipping.com. Okay. From CJ Dropshipping, you can get the trending product, fast shipping product. Basically, you can get a viral product that selling very fast. That's selling very fast. You don't have to do anything. Just come directly to CJ Dropshipping and import the product into your Shop Plaza Dropshipping store and you are good to go. For the marketing part, leave it to the Shop Plaza because Shop Plaza has different types of marketing tools that are going to help you to sell your products. If you go to the marketing section here inside your Shop Plaza backend and you can see we have Google, Facebook, TikTok and so on incredible tools to rank your website let's go to overview once again when you go to overview you will see the all analytic report of your website like how many visitor you get how many orders you receive uh total sale and so on and so forth and now it's time to show you guys how you can set up a shipping go to settings scroll down and click on shipping so inside, inside the shipping, shipping click on create general profile type your profile name i'm gonna call it free shipping click on save and scroll down and create your shipping zone click on create shipping zone type your zone name i'm gonna call it united states your customer won't see this this is just for you to remember things next we have the cash and delivery I'm not going to enable it and here I'm going to select the North America because I like to sell my products only inside the United States of America and then click on the confirm button and then click on the add rate here type the name I'm going to call it free shipping scroll down here you can add the condition for free shipping based on the order price or the product quantity based on the item weight I'm going to leave it as it is next the shipping cost for free shipping will be zero click on add once you do it click on save okay so as you can see we have created a free shipping if you're wondering these cj drop shipping product has a shipping rate how can we manage the free shipping well what you can do you can add a shipping rate let's create another shipping zone let's come back here and now let's create another shipping zone and here create a custom shipping I'm going to call it flat rate, click on save and then select the product. 
So if I don't want a free shipping on these products, I'm going to select the product where I don't like to apply a free shipping. For example, these two products, I don't like to apply a free shipping on these. Select them and click confirm and then scroll down and create shipping zone. I'm going to select my region and I'm going to type something like flat rate and then click on confirm. And now click on add rate and now type something like flat rate. Whatever you type over here, your customer will see. This will be a flat rate. You can add a condition if you want. Scroll down at the very bottom and type your flat rate. Let's say $5 will be shipping cost on these two products. And then click on add. There you go. Let's click on save. Awesome guys. <clears throat> Let's go back. So now you can see we have the general shipping and we have the custom shipping. So we have finished with the shipping let's go to the payments by clicking on the payment button and let's set up the payment gateway on our shop plaza drop shipping store so that we can receive a real payment from the real customer it is also straightforward if you scroll down you can see inside your shop plaza drop shipping store you can add stripe paypal klarna ocean payment in this video we're gonna add paypal click on add and then click on activate it will open a new tab and you have to log in into your PayPal account. Type your email, scroll down and click next and click on login. Now I need to verify my identity. Click next. I'll receive OTP on my phone. I got the OTP and click on continue. Identity confirmed. Now you need to click next. Again, I need to type the password okay so as you can see we have successfully connected paypal with shop plaza let's close this out now click on this button right here now it will refresh the shop plaza website and there you go we have successfully connected our paypal with shop plaza awesome right now let's look at your store click on online store and view your store first so as you can see this is the store that we have here let's close this out and now we need to activate this Halloween theme. In order to activate this one, click on publish, click OK. So here you can see the Halloween theme has been activated. Now click on customize because it is the time to customize your Shop Plaza dropshipping store. OK, now close this out. Now in the left side, you can see we have different types of section that you need to Add it okay don't worry don't get confused I'm here to help you I'll show you how you can customize or edit each and everything of your shop plaza dropshipping store it's very straightforward first of all let's look at the announcement tab when you hover your mouse over any section you will see the name of that section this is a announcement section right here select that and you can hide or show the social icons right here go to theme setting inside this you can see you have the social media handles you can type something like your facebook page url for this drop shipping store i'm gonna type something like facebook.com slash vfx you can always come to my page and follow me there and you can contact me over there as well and my twitter page goes same runners vfx scroll down i'm gonna add instagram all right so you can see we got the instagram in the similar way you can add as many social media icons as you want next you can delete the text from here by selecting it and come to the left side and you can type anything you like okay next we have the header section select the header here you can add a logo if you want click on it you can upload a logo or you can select from your product images let's come to upload section click on the upload button i'm going to select this one click open click select and there you go i think i need to upload a different image i'm going to select this one and then click on select all right this looks awesome now select the white logo if you have one you can increase or decrease the size of your desktop logo width mobile logo width and the navigation which is right here these are the menus 
I'll show you how you can customize these menus later on. But right now, let's scroll down. Here you can see we have another section right here. Show first product in a mega menu. Check this option, which is very useful. And below you can see we have the search style. I'm going to click on the icon. These are the settings that I use. And once you're happy with your changes, don't forget to click on save draft. Next, select the hero slideshow. And I'm going to remove this one because I don't really like the hero slideshow. I'm going to remove the entire section. I remove the block. Click on remove block button. It will remove the hero slideshow from your website. Now, all we left with this nice clean design of your dropshipping store. And next, next you, you can, can see we have the collection list. list. Let's add it these collection list. First of all, we have this block. Select it and select your collection by clicking on the collection button. And I'm going to select this iPhone case and click select. It will automatically synchronize the image from your products. If you don't like this image, you can always come over here in the editing section and you can change the image by going to the product and choose any image that you like. Click select and there you go. And next, you can change the heading. This is an iPhone case. So we have changed the heading and we have changed the image. When someone click on it, they will land on the this collection page where they can buy any uh, type of iPhone case that you have imported from CJ Dropshipping into your Shop Plaza Dropshipping store. So in a similar way, you can edit these blocks. Okay, scroll down. Next, we have this section right here. Click on it and it will take you to the editing section from the left side. Here, select the product. Let's select this one. Maybe this one. Click on select and there you go. You got the product and we have the subheading. You can change the heading if you want and you can change this text as well. In a similar way, you can edit this one as well. Okay. So I don't want to waste your time. So keep scrolling down, select the other section. And here I like to delete the subheading and heading. And I don't like the text over here. And I'm going to add the image. Click on upload. So I'm going to choose this image and click open. And then click on select. And you will see the preview. And next, let's make this button clickable. When someone click on it, they will Detect to this product that you have on your store. Awesome, right? Next, if you scroll down, you can increase or decrease the width of your image. And you can also change the button color from here. Let's go for this color. Awesome. Let's click on save draft once you're happy with your changes. Now scroll down. We have another section right here. Featured collection. Click on it. Here you have to select the collection. In this case, iPhone case, we have only three product. If you have more product, they will appear on here. If you have more products, all of those products will appear over here. You can increase or decrease the number from over here. How many products you want to appear on this section? Five is a minimum. Okay. Scroll down. You can enable swipe on mobile, show section divider, so on and so forth. You can change the title. If you want, feature collection is a completely fine for me. Click on save draft. Now scroll down. Next, we have this section right here. Select the entire newsletter section. You can change the color scheme. Let's click on none. Let's click on the heading. You can change the heading if you want. You can change the text if you want. And this is the form that you can activate for your website. Next, we have this section right here. Inside this section, first of all, I'm going to place these text to right. And I'm going to change the image. Click on upload. Let's select this image. Click open. Click select. And for mobile view, select the image. Click upload. And I'm going to select this image. I drop the opacity for mobile view. And this is the original size of the image. You can see over here. Okay. So I'm going to select this image. Click select. So when your visitor will open your website on their mobile phone, they will see this image, this blurry image. Because I dropped the opacity in Photoshop, you can use any type of photo editing software 
to edit your photos. Now scroll down. Next, we have this section right here, our brand. I'm gonna remove the entire section. Next, we have this from our customer section. These are the reviews of our customer for our product. If you don't like this section, you can remove it, okay? Next, we have this section. Select it, select the image, select the product image. I'm gonna select this product image. Click select. You can change the heading if you want. You can change the text if you want. Each and everything is editable over here, okay? And of course, you can select the link target. Let's select this product. In a similar way, you can edit these two things as well. Scroll down at the very bottom. We have this section right here, this photo section. Inside the photo section, you can see we have the subscribe to our newsletter. Your visitor can uh, subscribe to your website by entering their email and then click on subscribe button. They can subscribe to your website. And now we're going to add some important pages into this section. In order to add these pages, we need to go to navigation. Click on this button right here. And here you can see we have the footer menu and we have the header menu as well. Let's look at how to change header and footer menu. So we start with the header menu. In order to change the header menu, first of all, let's click on save to draft and click on publish. Hit publish once again and let's exit this customization section. And now scroll down, go to navigation under your online store. So here you can see we have to navigation you can add more if you want but we have the header and footer first let's select the header click on it and remove these useless pages new arrival track your order contact us so i've removed the new arrival in order to add more items click on add menu item and go to this button and select collection page and select the collection that you have on your website. In this case, I have only iPhone case. Click on confirm and type the name over here. I'm going to call it iPhone case and click on add and then click on save. All right. To see the changes, let's view your store by clicking over here. And there you go. You can see we got the changes over here. More links, contact us, iPhone case. Let's close this out. And now I'm going to show you how you can add important pages into your footer menu. But before that, you need to create these pages. In order to create these pages, go to pages. And in here, you can see we have the contact us, privacy policy, refund policy, shipping policy, and about us page, which is already there. And these are the important pages, but you need to add your own privacy policy inside this dummy or sample privacy policy page. In order to do this, open the privacy policy page. And in here, you can see we got this privacy policy, which is not originally created by you. This is a Shop Plaza privacy policy page that has been created by default. Add your own privacy policy. If you do not know how to create your own privacy policy or any other important pages that you need to include in your dropshipping store, I'll leave a link down below the video description. Go to that link and add all the important pages or you can see all the essential pages inside your Shop Plaza dropshipping store. Once you create all the important pages, let's go to the navigation once again. This time, select the footer. Inside the footer menu, we have the search about and contact us. If you view your store, scroll down and here you can see we have the search about and contact us. In the similar way, we have these pages over here. First of all, I'm gonna delete the search one. I've got only two items. Let's add more items. Let's scroll down, select custom page, and I'm going to select the privacy policy, click confirm, and I'm going to call it privacy policy and click add and keep adding more item by clicking on this button. So make sure you add all the important pages into your photo section. Once you do it, don't forget to click on save. It'll keep your changes saved. And now view your store, scroll down, and there you go. You can see we got this section. But if you notice that we got two similar copies of the menu over here, let's remove one of them. Close this out first. Let's go to the theme section. Click on the customize. Now scroll down and I'm going to select this one. And I'm going to remove one of the navigation menu from the photo section. All right. You can always edit this section or any section by selecting it. Select the section. You can change the number, change the heading, change the contact text 
or you can add the contact page over here live chat or so on and so forth this is all editable guys you can even change your payment method that you accept on your website and finally we have the copyright section down below which is completely fine for me and once you're happy with your changes don't forget to click on publish and click on publish once again and finally click on the exit inside your shop plaza drop shipping store you can always create a blog post in order to increase the engagement of your visitor and don't forget to check out the other features like analytics marketing and preferences and few other settings of your store like text domain and plan and billing inside your domain you can add your custom domain if you want by clicking on the connect existing domain button and here you need to type the domain of your website so for the demonstration purposes i'm going to type my domain over here and remember do not type https type your domain name and then dot com dot in whatever the extension you have on your domain and then click next and now you will see some records and you have to add these records inside your domain provider company and then you have to verify your domain and your domain will be connected with your shop plaza drop shipping store that simple if you need a separate video how to connect a domain with your shop plaza don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll definitely create a separate video for you guys so right now i'm gonna cancel this out and don't forget to check out the plan and billing guys right now my trial is activated and if you scroll down you can see shop plaza has yearly plan and monthly plan it's all up to you if you want to go with yearly plan you can go for yearly plan this is a very affordable plan for this kind of features that you're getting from shopplaza.com if you want to see all the features click on show all features it'll take you to the plans area of the shop plaza here you can see every plan has similar feature except this one staff account number and the commission rate as you can see if you're just getting started i recommend you to go with the basic plan if you already have experience of drop shipping then you can go with the advanced or premier enterprise or pro it's all up to you guys so once you completely set up your store your store will look like this awesome right so if you are interested converting your drop shipping store into a mobile app you can watch this video and convert your shop plaza drop shipping store into mobile app you'll find this video link in the video description as well so thank you so much for watching this video till then i'll see you next time